everyone welcome back to another one of my Pandora charm videos I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you're doing well so for this video I'm gonna be showing you my tea inspired bracelet and technically my updated tea inspired bracelet you would have seen in my Pandora spring collection haul video that um, it was already updated and I asked if you wanted to see like a closer look of it like a detailed look and you said yes. So I'm going to be basically going to go over the design with you, some of the meanings behind the charms and what they represent to me, as well as just, yeah, what I love about it and, and all of that. Um, but why a tea inspired bracelet? Well, I'm obsessed with tea. <laughs> I always am having tea. This one actually, um, oh man, I don't even remember what tea this is now. It's a black tea. I think it's, oh, it's like a mocha kind of macchiato style tea. It's not coffee, but it's tea. And then I steam the milk and it's very delicious. And this is almond milk. And I will be actually doing a video of how um, I make tea lattes at home. Um, I actually had quite a few people ask me to do a video about that. So stay tuned because I'm definitely going to be filming one. Um, but that's what I'm having today. I'm pretty tired. So I needed a little bit of a caffeine fix. So that's why I'm having a black tea today, <laughs> mixing it up. Anyway, let's dive in. Let's take a close look at this bracelet. All right, so this is my tea inspired bracelet. And basically the theme for color is Pandora Rose mixed with lavender colors, as well as a little pop of some pastels here. We have a little bit of that mint green. And then again, and so I could over here, you could almost maybe even call it like a sea grassy mint green because it's slightly brighter than a, a mint green, but it's very beautiful. And then we also have the lavender echo here on Miss Potts over here. And then we do have a touch of pink here at the end. I have a little clip, a silicone clip here. And then again in the T, which is right over here. The new additions to this bracelet from the spring collection are the enchanted teapot, which is right here. And then the enchanted teacup, which is right over here. So to start off with, the bracelet is on the Pandora Rose Heart Class bracelet. So it's a two-tone style bracelet. And I did want to echo the heart theme throughout, which is why I repeated the heart here and then the two heart clips, which are right here with the cubic zirconia in the center. Now Pandora does have a lavender radiant heart coming out, which I'm really excited about. It, it is in Pandora Rose with this lavender color, which I might be tempted to put it here in the middle. Um, I'll definitely be pushing it either way and I'll see how it looks. I might end up just preferring this heart because I like how it kind of echoes in the symmetry of this bracelet. So we'll just have to see what I decide to do once that charm comes out. All right, so we're gonna move, let's go this direction. So let's move it over yonder. So this is the Enchanted Teacup. And basically I do have this little stopper, pink stopper here, because this just slides right off. It doesn't have any of like um, the little screws to kind of, sometimes it hits the screw and it won't slide off right away. Uh, but it has nothing on it, it just slides right over the screws. So that's why I have that little stopper there, just to prevent it from sliding. And the Enchanted Teacup, it is just, I love tea so much. And I think any of you guys that have followed me from the very beginning, I love tea. And I probably have at least a cup of tea in every video that I film, um, hence the tea I'm having right now. <laughs> and it's just, for me, like tea has always been something I've always loved. My dad was the one that really loved tea growing up. He's originally from England. So he grew up with, you know, orange pico, English breakfast, Earl Grey type teas. And from there, I kind of explored into the realm of green teas, white teas, and the rest is history. So I love all teas, oolongs, rooibos, like everything. <laughs> this little cup, it just reminds me of how much I love to go out for high tea. <laughs> I love tea and my husband and I, we just love to go out for high tea. And this is something we tend to do once a month, if not maybe twice a month, where we like to try out new places for high tea or go back to some of our favorite ones. It's always so much fun and we really enjoy it. The next charm I have on the bracelet is my Alice in Wonderland charm. So it features the Mad Hatter, um, you have the hair, you have Alice with a couple teacups, 
And then over yonder, you'll have her pouring a cup of tea, or no, sorry, the Mad Hatter pouring her a cup of tea. It is hard to see the detail on this, and that would be my only hesitation if you are thinking about getting this charm, is it is actually very hard to see the detail. Um, my camera will capture it when I zoom in and close up on it, but even from just your own eyesight, it is harder to see the detail. And it is more of an open charm, it's very lightweight. Um, I, I do love it. I think the detail is beautiful. My husband actually gave this to me as a gift last year and I was so happy and excited to get it. And I love the detail, but I was um, a little disappointed that it is harder to make out the characters. And that would be the only thing I, I would like to tell you guys about if you are thinking about getting it and you haven't seen it in person. It is harder to make out the little characters and the details on it, but I still love this charm. I think it's super sweet. So moving forward, we do have these little spacers. So I have one here and one here. This is just to make room right now, like to fill up some space on the bracelet. I think at some point I would like to make these purple or add a touch of lavender to it, uh, but they're just there just to fill up some of the space right now. Hence the spacers. <laughs> Then over here we have the lovable Miss Potts and Chip. Hopefully you guys can, maybe I'll just tilt this this way slightly. She's so cute with her little Chip. He's right here on the bottom. Let me just move that over. Hopefully you can see him. Again, I'll be doing close-ups. So this I was very excited to get. The live action movie came out last year and I was so excited to go see it. We had tickets for opening night. And I really wanted to get this charm just to represent my love of tea, obviously, but it was also just such a fun time seeing that movie with my husband. And then my old job, we had a special type of event with Beauty and the Beast, which was really fun. Um, I was helping to do some, some things for them with it. And it was really fun, so it kind of makes me think of that too, and just kind of the memories of that. The other side with Miss Potts and, and little Chip makes me think of my mom. I love going out and getting tea with her and all those fun adventures. And that is another reason why I really loved that Miss Potts had Chip with her because it really just made me think of my mom and me and how much we love to go out and have tea and, you know, talk and catch up. So that's really special to me about this one as well. It also does have some pink and blue detailing here against the bottom. Hopefully the camera is making that out for you guys to see. So as we go along, we have the Fauceted Lavender Muranos. These are beautiful. They have like a shimmer. I think they're called the Shimmer Fauceted Murano. So it has like a little touch of sparkle to it. And this is just exquisite. And I love that it's faceted. That detail, it just really adds a nice shine to the bracelet as you're wearing it. And then I have another one echoed here on this side. Okay, so now we have the Enchanted Mouse and this charm always makes me think of Nicole. <laughs> just because she was the one who helped me get this little guy. And he's so special. I love fairy tales and the fact that he really makes me think of Cinderella. You know, like Gus the Mouse and the cups and all that. He's so cute. And then he has these beautiful details on his back with the curling tail. Like how cute is that? Only Pandora. Okay, there's other companies too, but they just do these cute little details and it makes it so irresistible. I love the bottom too. They have like the little Pandora logo stamp there. And then he has a little balloon that says be mine. And I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, I'm pretty sure this was a release for one of their Valentine's Day collections. He just represents my love of fairy tales and tea. And I really think he's adorable. <laughs> So this is a heart. I've talked about this heart before. This was a gift from my husband. It was super sweet of him and I really, really love it. All right, and as we move along, we have Alice in the teacup. She's so cute. It has a, it has like a pink enamel going around the teacup, just like the ride at Disneyland, which is where I got her from. It is park exclusive and she's just so cute. So she's just kind of sitting, having fun in the tea, tea cup and gliding along. 
This charm actually really does remind me of my brother. I think I mentioned before, he does work in animation and things like that. And this just makes me think of him and how creative he is and how all his designs. And he also got me the Alice in Wonderland movie, the animated one, many Christmases ago. I really wanted to get it updated onto Blu-ray and he surprised me with it which just was just such a sweet gift to give me because he knows how much I love the movie and how much I love tea so this one also makes me think of him now as we go along you'll see some repeats again and it brings us to the enchanted teapot now this is a stunning charm as soon as Pandora had showed previews for this I was like yep that was made for me. Pandora must have been thinking about me when they designed this collection. Most likely not, but <laughs> I was just thrilled that they were doing some new tea additions. As the fact that they were enchanted, amazing. So this one is beautiful because it does have some beautiful floral details on the top of the teapot. Hopefully you can see it there. And then it has a cute little bird, just like kind of like that was on the teapot over here. It has it on the spout of the teapot. And I just think that is just so stunning. I'll move it around. It's very plain on the bottom. Most of the detail is on the top. It is a bigger charm. It was bigger than what I was expecting it to be. And it has a nice weight to it as well, which is nice to see from Pandora because a lot of their charms have tended to be more lighter weight now. So it's neat that they have like a nice solid silver charm. So this is a beautiful addition. Um, the only thing I hope is I hope I don't bash it or bang it around too, too much just because there is more silver going around it. Then we have my first little teacup and this one I'm always going to love. It's so cute, it has a cute little detail going around it. We have the cute detail on the bottom, cute little handle. And the I do have the two-tone teapot, but he's actually, let me grab it. He's actually on my something blue bracelet. So that's this one here. So the only reason why this cute little two-tone teapot is not on this bracelet is because this is my wedding bracelet and my husband and I had a high tea wedding reception. So he re he represents that theme on my wedding bracelet, which is why he's on here. <laughs> All right, and then the last charm on my tea inspired bracelet is Alice in the cup. And it says here on the bottom, drink me, which is so cute. Oh my goodness. I love the Disney charms. They're so detailed. She is the exact same Alice that you see in the teacup, which is over here. Same size, pretty much. Oh, actually, no. She's a tiny bit smaller than this Alice. But same detail, same pose and everything. Only difference is she's in the little cup. And then if you flip it over... Here, she has her cute long hair going down and again, like the enamel on the bottom. She's so cute and I just had to get her. I could, you know, just cause she's so cute and it's perfect for this bracelet. It isn't an Alice Wonderland theme. It's the true tea theme bracelet, but it is neat to have little elements of Disney and tea related experiences in Disney on this bracelet, as well as just my overall love for Disney. Um, the lavender and Pandora Rose for me, I just loved how that combination looked. I was playing around with these and I thought, wow, it actually looks really pretty with this. And I, this was from very early on that I did that. And then I just am like, oh, this is a perfect bracelet to start my tea inspired bracelet, especially when I got Miss Poss and she had that little detail on the top of her. So it was like, yeah, let's go for it. So that is da -da -da, my tea inspired bracelet. And stay tuned because I will be doing a tea latte video. Really excited to show you guys. Anyway, take care. Bye for now.